Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to I'm going to create the anchor base and I haven't done this too many times. I, don't, I may have done it once before, so this could be a challenge. But you know what? I like challenges, so I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. So we're gonna do it says dimensions are in inches. I'm gonna go to new. I'm gonna use the English template. I'm gonna create. I'm gonna move back in my squeaky chair. It's real squeaky. I need a new chair. I need a new chair. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna go to start a new sketch, a new 2D sketch, and then I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click on this flat plane here. I'm going to start off by drawing a rectangle, a two-point center. I'm going to start on the dot. We're going to drag it out. So this over here to the right is three inches. Hit the tab key. And then at the bottom is four inches. Hit the tab key. Press enter. So there's that. I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to extrude it down, so I'm going to flip it, boom, that way. That is a distance of one, which it already is. I'm just going to click OK. And then, uh, yeah, what are we going to do then? So I could, I could create those holes on top, or I could create the middle, the middle thing, Imajigi. Um, let's, let's create the middle thing, Imajigi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my origin here and I drew that rectangle from the center dot because I wanted to use this YZ plane. I'm going to make it visible to create that little standing up part. So I'm going to start my 2D sketch on this YZ plane. From here, what am I going to do? I'm going to, let's see, I need to start, I'm going to project geometry. I'm going to project this top one, the side one here. Um, I'm going to draw a line off the bottom side here to the right. That is two, that's two inches there then it gives me um, a circle up here so I'm gonna figure out where that circle is located so uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna randomly draw a circle I don't even care where or how big it is boom all right so then that I'm gonna dimension the circle it has a diameter of 1.75 like so, and then I'm going to dimension to the center of this. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, dimension. So the center of the circle down to this line is, that's three. So we're going to yank it down. Come down here. Join the party. All right, so that's that. Um, and then it's directly above the end of this line, so I can use my vertical constraint, I believe. I'm gonna click on the end of this line dot, click on the center, and apparently it's already straight above it. So, I didn't have to do anything in there. I got lucky. Okay, so then I'm going to offset, or maybe not, maybe I'll just draw another circle from that same center point. And this I need to dimension. This is gonna be a radius it gives me. So I'm gonna right click where it says dimension type, change it to radius. I don't know why my dimensions are all goofy like that, but don't care. So the radius is 1.5, 1.5. Like that, 
And then, so here, what I need to do is I'm going to draw a line from this corner. Just gonna, I'm going to draw it like up over here out of the way. Same thing for this from the end of here, kind of up here somewhere. And then I'm going to use my tangent constraint. So I'm going to click this line, click the circle, uh, click this line, click the circle. And I need to hit the extend. Wait, did that move? Did that move on me? Uh, it did move on me. Let me, all right, let me dimension this and this. So that needs to be, this needs to be zero. Hopefully it'll, I'll be able to move it back. There we go. All right, because that, that center needs to be lined up over the end of this line. And now I can extend these lines to where they meet the circle. Wait, why did it go way past it? Oh no, it didn't. I thought it did. I was freaking out. Anyway, so then I need to trim this part of the circle out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like we got that. I'm going to finish my sketch. Hopefully it's going to let me extrude this piece here and it does. I'm going to do it, make sure it's symmetrically both ways and that has a distance of one, which is already there. I'm going to click the OK. Um, then I'm going to turn off the visibility of this YZ plane. And then all I need to do is I'm going to draw some holes on the top or some circles. So I'm going to start my sketch on top here. Does that even look right? I know that's four. Did I do that wrong? I may have did this wrong. Hold on. Hold the phone. I probably did this wrong, didn't I? Let me see. I think I think I drew this wrongly. So let me actually it's not gonna work, is it? If I go back to this, yeah, I did. So I'm gonna try to see if it lets me change this to three. It's probably gonna freak out on me. I'm gonna change this to four. That way, finish sketch. This is where it's gonna go bad. I'm I'm crossing my fingers. Oh, oh, it fixed itself. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, it did. Is it still, is that still five? Let me see, hold on. Let me go to my sketch here. Yeah, that's still two there. Three, four, five. Yeah, okay, so we're good. All right. Now, now I'm going to start my 2D sketch on this top face here. There's going to be a circle somewhere around here, somewhere over here too. I don't care where I put them right now. Um, the diameter of that is going to be, it's going to be 0.75. I got kind of close. Look at that. 0.75. I'm going to make this one equal. So I'm going to click both of these circles. Now they're the equal diameter. Uh, this circle is from the center to the bottom here. That is 1.5. 1.5. And then from the side, from here to here is 0.75. Um, yeah, I could, yeah, I could do constraints. I'm just going to dimension this from here to here. Same way I did down there. This is 1.5. And then from here to here is the same. That's 0.75. Like so. I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to extrude, cut, this circle, this circle, all the way through. And then let's see, what are those rounds? The rounds on the front is 0.75. So I'm gonna go to fill it. And then for the radius here, that's gonna be 0.75. 
I'm going to select the, what did I do? I'm going to select, uh, hold on, hold on. I'm going to select this front edge, this front edge. I'm going to hit OK there, or apply. And then this round at the back, let's see if this works. This is going to have a radius of 1. So I'm going to click this. And I'm assuming that the other side, I know sometimes you don't really want to assume. I'm assuming the other side is the same. Uh, like so. And then I'm going to hit apply. Get out of that. So, yeah, there's our, our part. I just got the thing with the wrong dimensions at the first. But we're able to fix it. So, yeah, okay. I'm going to go to view. Let me go to photo booth lighting. You know the drill by now. But again, you can put whatever you want, color it however you want. Get fancy. So, yeah, there's that. I'm going to hit the home. I'm going to go to file, save. I'm going to call this anchor base. Save it. Oh, I already have one? Did I already create one? Huh. When did I, oh, I did create one in February. Okay. Well, this one's going to be better. So I'm going to save this one. I'm going to save over it. All right. There we go. Okay. So that's how to create the anchor base. I hope that helped. Make sure you like and subscribe. Tell all your friends. Let them join the party. All right. Peace out.